it's very likely that you probably recently got into Linux and you're wondering like, okay, how can I make Linux look cool? How can I make my setup look really sick? Because that's one of the greatest benefits of Linux compared to Windows or Mac. You can have a very unique setup, a setup that's completely unique to everyone in the world. I'm gonna tell you all the major tips that you can use to actually get a pretty cool looking setup. The main one that's gonna help easily browse r slash unix porn just to get inspiration just to see what's out there for example if we take a look here we can start browsing we can see the different setups that people have and kind of like and kind of get a feel of like what's possible what kind of different like styles there are out there like oh maybe you look at this and you're like whoa this looks very clean like i like how it's like you know the calendars up in the middle and you know like sway effects you can start looking at this and you can see like the dot files and start checking out like oh okay and i've actually made a video also about this like how you can just like kind of just like, oh you know we can click here you can get the wallpaper they have this and that <clears throat> if you install everything that they have you could have the exact same setup as them like very quickly so it's a very good way to get inspiration and kind of like start figuring out like what you want now that you've gotten some inspiration the most important thing that you can do is choose a desktop environment or window manager you can look up Linux desktop environments or Linux window managers and get a feel of how each window manager and desktop environment looks and roughly what you want to go for. You should also keep in mind that maybe the defaults of these desktop environments and window managers are kind of like very mid, very, you know, maybe even bad looking, but usually they can be customized to a way that looks like completely different to how it originally looks. So therefore, don't just take how the default like base image looks and be like, oh, I can only look like that. Like, no, you can usually change just about anything. If you don't know where to start, some of the most popular desktop environments is GNOME, KDE, XFC, and Cinnamon. With window managers, it would probably be i3, DWM, which I use, and awesome. The next major tip I would say, which I feel like is kind of underrated, but just pick a nice wallpaper. When you pick a nice wallpaper, it, like, think about it like this. Most of the screen, like, you know, you have the little gadgets and widgets and stuff, but most of the screen is just your wallpaper. So if you find a good wallpaper that kind of matches with your color scheme and kind of the vibe you go for, then overall, the wallpaper is literally more important than anything. Like, even if you're on Windows, just choose a nice wallpaper, and that'll probably be a bigger determining factor than the widgets and the panels and stuff. Obviously that's all nice and stuff, but again, I feel like the wallpaper genuinely is the most important one. So find a good wallpaper. It's really as simple as that. Next, if you're using a desktop environment, which has different types of themes and find a theme that you like. For example, when I used to be on KDE, KDE has a huge like, KDE store that you can just download as many themes as possible. Or you can download like so many different themes, like literally every possible theme that you could think of. To the point where I've seen people that customize KDE to look exactly like macOS, like almost zero difference. So utilize it. Like if you're using, I'm not too sure about GNOME, but I'm pretty sure GNOME has GTK themes that you can install and use and just customize it to look completely different to the base like default environment. Likewise, use icon packs, you know, change the icons. If you have that visible on your desktop, if you have like a, a dock or, you know, something like that, change the icons to have a little flavor, to have something different. Another underrated one is a good font. A font is just font, 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 a good font, a good font. Another underrated tip is having a good font. Personally, my favorite font is the hack font. That's the font that you always see. You know, if I have my terminals up, it's always, it's all hack. It's clean, professional, but also like, it's a little casual. Like it's, it fits everything, but just, you know, browse through fonts. I know Google, Google fonts is actually a very good place to find fonts and you can test and all that. So you can also customize your terminal. One of my favorite things to do on a new setup is instantly go from bash is to install Zish, which by default, it's very likely that you're using bash. Zish essentially provides some extra features. And also you can install, install Zish themes. So you can have it very, looking very cool. Yeah, you can install Oh My, oh my Zish, and then you can have all these kind of different themes. So it's just like, you know, scrolling past, but you can see, oh, this one has like, you know, they have like little icons and like, I don't know, I don't know, in my opinion, they look nice. I have mine like kind of simple, just very basic, nothing crazy. But if you want to kind of like wild out and go like, you know, a little bit more like different, then you can see like, yeah, you can have something like this if you want to be like very like, with like timestamps and all that kind of stuff. Now this is just going to be like the lightning ram. So one thing you could also do is choose between having like having like a panel or having like a dock, like kind of like Mac OS. I know a uh, latte dock, I used to use that. It's pretty cool. So I liked it a lot. So if you want to kind of have that more Mac OS look, then you can do that. Next is to get animated wallpapers. And what you could do is you could download a GIF and then you can install some, pro some sort of program or you could have, I'm pretty sure you could also like set an MP4 file as 
a wallpaper using like a very specific program. But I know, I know it's completely possible. You can also use transparency and blurring. Again, I'll quickly show you my setup. We can see that if I spawn in a tab, like it kind of blurs it and also darkens it a bit. So, you know, little features like that just makes it look a little bit nicer. You can use terminal-based programs, again, to have that kind of like more cool retro aesthetic. And again, it's hard to list off everything, but there's just like, there's so many different combinations that you could do. It's really hard to put it all in one video. But I hope this gave you some inspiration and can help you to help make your old Linux setup look cool as well. Again, if you're still struggling, you're not really sure where to go, you can book a free consultation call with me. I can help you get a setup looking like mine. Or again, if you're still kind of like confused or you need help, or maybe you actually, you don't have that much time on your hands and you kind of just want someone to guide you through customizing this, you can book a free consultation call with me and we can help achieve your dream setup. I hope this video has helped you. Please leave a like, subscribe, comment to help me out and I'll see you next time. Peace.